Welcome to the first look video for the Libre Computer Board AML S905X CC. In this video, we'll be going over the hardware features and comparing them to the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. We will have a full review going over the software features of the board at a later point. This new single board computer is the first 64-bit 4K board at Raspberry Pi 3's $35 price point. We need to stress that this is not a Raspberry Pi board and will not be compatible with Raspberry Pi software without modification. The board is designed to be form factor compatible with cases built for the Raspberry Pi 3. It features the same external connectors, placement, and board thickness for nearly complete compatibility. It offers the same external connectors like four USB ports, RJ45 100 megabit ethernet jack, CVBS AV jack with composite video and stereo audio out, HDMI out interface, micro USB power input, 40 pin GPIO header, and micro SD card slot. Unlike the Raspberry Pi 3, this board has no onboard Wi Fi or Bluetooth, so we recommend using a USB dongle. They generally offer better compatibility, higher performance, and only cost a few dollars. It doesn't have the camera interface for attaching the Raspberry Pi camera, but you can use USB webcams, which are well supported in software. The other missing feature is the DSi connector for the Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen display. In lieu of that, you get an HDMI 2.0 interface that supports true 4K60 with HDR metadata. Now let's go over features that this board brings to the table. This board offers a SPDIF header, separate UART header from the, for serial console, EDC and I2S headers for analog and digital audio, IR receiver, and EMMC connector on the reverse side for up to 128 gigabytes of super fast storage. Now let's compare the Raspberry Pi 3 and the AML S905 XCC side by side. The Raspberry Pi 3 has quad 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53 cores running at 1.2 gigahertz. The AML S905 XCC has the same quad ARM Cortex-A53 cores with the optional crypto extensions running at 1.5 gigahertz. The optional crypto extensions accelerate encryption and decryption workloads and it allows the AML S905 XCC to perform them about 20 times faster than the Raspberry Pi 3. Power consumption on the AML S905 XCC is roughly half that of the Raspberry Pi 3 at the same performance level. AML S905 XCC's RAM chips also run twice as fast at 2133 MHz instead of 1066 MHz. It also comes in a 2 gigabyte model for twice the amount of memory. This is a huge boost for running applications that require faster and or more memory than the Raspberry Pi 3. On the back side, we have the spring-loaded micro SD card slot for easier removal of the micro SD cards on the AML S905 XCC. This has been an issue on some cases uh, with the Raspberry Pi 3. The micro SD card slot on the AML S905 XCC also supports UHS mode, which the Raspberry Pi 3 doesn't. Without UHS, you're limited to about uh, 25 megabytes per second on the Raspberry Pi 3, whereas you can go up to around 75 megabytes per second on the AML S905 XCC. Uh, you can utilize cards like the Samsung Pro and SanDisk Extreme models uh, with great performance benefits. You all also notice that there's an EMC connector on the back side. The AML S905 XCC supports the EMC 5X standard with HS400 mode. You can read and write at speeds exceeding 100 megabytes per second with the appropriate modules. Uh, EMC is also far more reliable than micro SD cards in long running applications, and you can get them with up to 128 gigabytes of storage, uh, which goes alongside with your micro SD card. Another IO is issue to mention is that the Raspberry Pi 3 shares bandwidth between the Ethernet and all four micro USB ports uh, over a US one single USB bus. You're limited to around about 280 megabits per second or 35 megabytes per second of aggregated bandwidth. That means if you copy files from one USB port to the other via USB drives, you're limited to about 18 megabytes per second. On the AML S905XCC, on the other hand, the Ethernet bandwidth is entirely dedicated and then there are two USB channels, each with full bandwidth. The port closest to the ethernet jack on the bottom uh, has full bandwidth, like 400 megabits theoretical, around 280 uh, realistic. 
And then the other three ports are provided by the USB hub chip, which has its own dedicated channel. So you can copy files at around twice the speed of the Raspberry Pi 3 can. Uh, another great feature to mention is the IR receiver. You can set up the IR receiver to wake the board up uh, with IR remotes, provided you set the software bits up. The, uh, this is a great feature because Raspberry Pi, the only way to physically turn it on and off is by uh, unplugging and plugging in power or using our power supply with the power switch that we designed two years ago. The, the other thing is that the GPU on the AML S95X CC can decode H.264, H.265, and VP9 all at 4K, while the Raspberry Pi 3 can only decode 1080p60 H.264 and it has no hardware accelerated support for H.265 or VP9. And uh, that should be all for the hardware aspects of the board. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section. We'll provide videos and how-to guides for this and other platforms by Libre Computer. So if there's anything you want to see, please let us know and comment below.